R V B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles Including Sports Stars Professional Wrestlers Actors Actresses and TV personalities, sports video blogs about the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, NFL, and college sports, professional wrestling, including pay-per-view results, storylines, angles, tag teams, characters, and more, and entertainment video blogs about movies, television shows, TV, cable, and radio stations. RVBN. The Rich Video Blog Network, Berwick, Massachusetts. Don't forget to check out my archive collection on Facebook and YouTube going back to June of 2014. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for... Monday, December 5th, 2016, around 8.12 in the evening in Dalaka, Massachusetts. It's about 30 degrees out right now. It's getting a little icy. There'll be some slick spots tonight. Tomorrow, supposed to be warming up into the low 40s, so whatever snow is on the ground, on the grassy surfaces, is going to melt away. Maybe some rain or snow showers Wednesday, but nothing like we had today might not accumulate that much. Then it's going to turn progressively colder. Saturday's high temperatures will be below freezing. Next Monday was a shot of snow, but as of right now, cloudy in the upper 40s. So it looks like not going to have a, a major snowstorm on next Monday, but that could change. Some news to report on the RVB and news. Why? Do, 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 do. The San Francisco Giants signed closer Mark Malenskun to a four year contract worth $62 million. The Giants blew a lot of, of saves in 2016, so that helps them out a lot. And the Boston Red Sox picked up the 2018 option of manager John Fell, so he's going to stay for a while. And one more thing before my third and final video blog subject of the night is there's a toy drive at Bellica Access Television in Bellica, Massachusetts. So if you have a un, get a un, a unwrapped toy, a wrapped toy. And bring it down to BATV and between now and the 17th of December. And all of those toys go to low-income families and military families overseas. That's about it on that. From the RVBN News, why do 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 be back in a flash with my third and final video blog subject of the night. Boom. Boom, 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 the ball. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the continuation of 2017 predictions. I'll be doing this every maybe three, four days for the rest of the year. And this next one is about the sports media. These are the things I'm predicting that will happen in 2017 for the sports media the first thing i'm predicting in 2017 for the sports me medium media is that chris berman will leave espn he won't get it he won't be having a reduced role at espn he's gonna leave espn altogether then quietly go to the NFL Network and his position on NFL Countdown is going to be he's going to be replaced by Trey Wingo and also the Home Run Derby that he usually calls will be called by Dan Schillman who's the 
voice of Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. In the second Monday Night game that Chris Berman usually calls, probably will go to Mike Greenberg or Steve Levy. And also, another prediction in 2017 for the sports media. I predict that Mike Greenberg is going to leave Mike and Mike in the morning. They're going to break up him and Mike Golick. And Mike Greenberg is going to move to ESPN and host a, like a Good Morning America type show on ESPN from 6 to 10 in the morning, like eliminating Sports Center AM. And it and Mike Golick will probably have a new co host. That's what I think is going to happen. Also, another thing that's going to happen in the sports media in 2017, I predict that the that um, the PGA Tour will renew the, um, the contracts for uh, e, um, e, um, CBS and NBC long, long term. They expire in 2021, but they have an opt-out clause at the end of the 2018 golf season, and they're going to renew those deals until maybe the end of the next decade. There's also, you know, talk about the PGA um, forming a PGA Tour network. But that will not fly because the Golf Channel is owned by Comcast. And Comcast is on most of the cable systems in the United States. So it would be a tough sell. So I predict ES, I mean CBS and NBC get an extended deal for the PGA Tour to like the end of the next decade. Also, another prediction I'm making for the sports media in 2017. I'm predicting that the NBA TV and the NHL Network will have morning type shows. Usually NBA TV reruns Game Time and NHL Network reruns on the fly. And I think these morning type shows will go for like from 9 in the morning to like 11 in, in the morning with a, like a replay of it the next two hours or like or like e hum and I show network could do it from 8 to 10 and then repeat play it from 10 to noon because I show um, hockey central at noon time via sports net um, in Canada and also another prediction I'm gonna make in 2017 for the sports media. I think there's going to be a lot of retirements for play-by-play -play announcers in the sports media in 2017. I think in 2017 such play-by-play -play announcers like Dick Stockton and Greg Gumbel and a couple of others will be retiring. Also in 2017 in the sports media. I'm predicting that um, Spectrum Sportsnet is going to merge with Spectrum Sportsnet LA so the Dodgers and the Lakers will be on one channel. A lot of other cable companies besides Charter are barking at Sportsnet LA because it just carries Dodgers game. Also, in 2017, I'm predicting in the sports media that many of the regional sports networks are going to have their versions of like sports debate shows like First Take and, and, and a few other ones like that. And I think Nesson is pro in, in for New England Sports Network. I think they're going to prob probably revamp Nesson Sports today and make it like a the 
sports debate type show for Boston sports. They'll still keep Mets and sports update. That's the trend that many of these um, regional sports networks are going now because the highlights um, shows are kind of dying out. And one more final thing. In 2017, I think there'll be rumors that Turner Sports will form their own sports network, but that will not come to pass because they don't have too many rights But besides the NBA and Major League Baseball and, and the PGA Championship and the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. What would they fill it with? Like, s s stuff from Bleacher Reports, which Time Warner owns? Be, that would be a rumor out there, but it won't come to pass. And that's about it on that. I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus, with three more video blogs coming for you. First video blog will be my personality profile. Tomorrow's personality profile will be about Stephen A. Smith, who is on ESPN's first take. Second video blog of the day will be a about the Middlesex Canal Visitors Museum in Berwick, Massachusetts. Tell you about that. And third and final video blog of the night will be about the classic TV series Hot Castle and McCormick. The top ten list are coming back around the first of the year. So keep calm, everybody. I'm Julie Bungai. Molly Roseblood of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy Lynn Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York is such a rocking cougar. She's got the best legs in New York City. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Wen Cliff, the great GH Channel 7 in Boston, is so sweet and she has the best legs in Boston. And in the words of Vicky Aqua, you didn't direct of the Boys and Girls Club of Great America, the more the merrier, and the knuckleball. Bye now, see you tomorrow.